Amen. 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 I'm going to talk a little bit about Jezebel. If there's a strong will of insubordination and it's not dealt with, Jezebel would rise up against authority that does not agree with them. And in addition to that, they will counsel others to rebel yes. against any type of God's ordained leadership of authority. In our time, mostly pastoral authority. Yes. And of course, that spirit often presents that those who disagree with them, i.e., meaning the Jezebel spirit, that they are naive or spiritually blind. I'm going to ask a question here today before I ask you, I'm going to a passage of scripture for a second. And I don't think there's another preacher that talks about judgment more than I do. I talk about judgment a lot. I really truly do. Now it may be, at least we don't hear. Um, well, there are times to judge and there are times not to judge. Praise the Lord. And so if I ask you a question, what, what was the difference? Both of them had to do with judgment. What was the difference between David and Absalom? In one instance, in one case, it was David. He had the opportunity, but he didn't take it to judge Saul. What do you mean he didn't take it? Well, he didn't. He did not take what all human beings take today. It's tough to refrain from talking against another. The opportunity yes, to kill sir. always presents itself. We have a hope in this generation that it may never be said of you as it was of Absalom that you stole the hearts Amen. of the people of God away from an anointed leader. It's amazing how we, it, we we know about these stories, but boy, it's, it's not until it's preached the impact of them starts. Hmm? I mean, how I many? How often do we see that happening uh, amongst the assembly? tells us was a man after God's own heart. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And even as a young boy, he still had God's own heart. Yes. Man right after God because, I mean, here's David getting ready to be a king. Everybody knows it. And he had an opportunity to raise up an insurrection against Saul like never before, but he never would touch God's own heart. You look at his generation today. If they perceive that they're touching God's name. Right. Amen. 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 99% of the people take the way of Absalom in judgment. Amen. Seek to steal the hearts of people, steer them away from godly ordained leadership, and then they all perish, including Absalom himself. Yes. See, God waited for the judgment, or let's say David waited for the judgment of God. Amen. Absalom 
didn't couldn't wait for no judgment. He had to take judgment upon upon himself. Yes. Hmm? I bring out this scripture all the time. It says, Rejoice not when thine enemy fall. Right. Let not thy heart be glad when he stop. Lest the Lord see it and it displease him and he turn away his wrath from him. Amen. See, in all things we're being judged. You know, whether you perceive right. something to be right or wrong. Right. Everybody has a spirit of judgment, but people are not conscious of their spirit. They always want to overstep their Amen. bounds. Amen. Then comes inappropriate attitudes. Uh, out of bound spirits. To deal with them with the people because they judge things that are not committed to them. I can see when a lot of people are rising up against a particular person and and I say, well, one thing's for sure. You've already judged it, so God, you don't remove the hand of God. Right. And the reason why you do it is because you have that compulsive, yeah. driving spirit. Yeah. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am, that compels right. you to talk against another. Hard to refrain from killing with the tongue. Right. Oh boy. You haven't noticed Amen. all the little spiritual upheavals that's been going on around here lately because of the messages that have been coming. Pretty sad, isn't it? Should be more conscious of that. But because the lawlessness is ruling, hearts of the people are waxing cold. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Many times we say we love, 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 but we, we do it with our mouth. Yes. Hmm? But you know there's only one way you can tell the depth of someone's love here on this earth whereby we can perceive besides besides what's coming out of the mouth because that's very deceitful at times. Yes, sir. How do you know when someone has love in their heart? Hmm? Well, all the answers to any question that I ask is easily found in the scripture. And there's only one way that you can tell if a person has real love. Hmm? One who loves much forgives much. Like it shows the pride of me. Yes, sir. Amen. Hmm? You understand the word we get here is too rich for a lot of people's ears. Hmm? Well, you can see as the time going on that many people are despising their birthright. Just flat out despising their birthright. And how, how would you know if someone's despising their birthright? I fear that today that humanity is in a serious struggle against God. We're trying to make him change his word to conform to our image.